Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. I found this hat from when I was 13 at my bar mitzvah. What is it? It's, uh, it's that one right there where the sign broke. It says Jamin with Andrew. Yeah, this is, uh, my head hasn't grown since I was 13. All right, that's better. So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it a ton. My dad is here. And uh, I was planning on actually making a focus video today, but uh, something came in the mail for me today and I'm really excited. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get to it. Um, my hard dog roll bar, I bought this uh, four or five days ago. I bought it used from a friend of mine. We're installing the roll bar on the Miata today. Which also means I have to get that stupid style bar out of it as well. And I gotta figure out how this old style bar comes out. Is there anything still attached? Okay. This is the perfect time to uh, clean out whatever's uh, underneath here because I've never looked underneath my seat and this is pretty disgusting. So. That's so much nicer. A lot cleaner. Listen people, if you're attaching bars, even if it's a style bar, do it right. That was stupid. After a lot of grunting, swearing under my breath so my father doesn't hear, even though he's standing right there, uh, we made some cuts. They aren't exactly the most beautiful, um, hopefully functional, so we're going to try installing the bar back again. After even more struggling, uh, what now? I'm looking at that side. This looks sweet. <laughs> I'm so happy with this. After more struggling and whatnot, we finally got it to at least fit in there. So, uh, Andy, yep. Uh -huh. See uh -huh. this wire? Uh-huh, what wire? It's under there. Oh. You don't want it over there. No, we don't. We got the two bolts behind the seat belt in. Uh, right, right there. I don't know how well you guys can see it. I'm pointing right there. Right there. We're gonna drill in. There's brackets here, and there's the brackets back there. We're gonna lift the back end of the car up, and we're gonna drill those holes out. And then we're gonna remove the bar, and we're gonna put, I think I have some, is it? We can either put, this Rust-Oleum bed liner that I have lying around, or I think I have silver paint. I'm not sure, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out when we get there. When I was buying this bar, um, my friend Dan, is who I bought this roll bar from. He just, he races Camaros. If you watch the Andrew Herschel channel, and uh, he's the one who like spun out in the Camaro. Well, he bought a Miata, and I bought this roll bar off of him for that Miata, and he was kind enough, when he bought the Miata, he got a nice big drill bit, and he was kind enough to give me that nice drill, big drill bit. So, I mean, this is a long drill bit. Okay, so we got the bar in completely. We got the bolt holes, and everything. This was a bitch. This thing, this nice long drill bit. And what we did was we drilled the first hole 
I was about to try to show you, but that was not about to happen. So we drilled the first hole using this. Then we took the backing plates that come with that come with the bar and we drilled holes from the back side from down here and drilled up. Camera died and I was just like so adamant about getting this done that I didn't record it. I'm sorry. But the bar is officially in. Nothing is tightened down or anything. We also have to get new bolts because these are about as tight as possible. There's still like a lot of play in here. So my guess is the reason for that is the amount of play here is for the style bar that's sitting underneath down there. So what me and my dad are about to do, which I will record, is we're gonna take the bar back out and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this right here, truck, but this bottle, if it's not. We're gonna take the bed liner and we're gonna spray, we're gonna spray it with the bed liner and let it dry up. And then overnight, overnight let it dry out. Why we're doing this is obviously we don't want it to rust the holes because we just took a painted metal and we took off the paint. Obviously, this is the utmost professional paint job you've ever seen, you know, because we did a lot of cutting here and stuff, so we painted this stuff too. You know, I accidentally sprayed back here. Got what, you spray too? what did I not paint? Oops, I forgot that. So we gotta paint that. But, um, yeah, obviously the utmost professional paint job because all that stuff is gonna be covered up by trim and whatnot, and plus, I mean, it's it's functionally disgusting. So, I also got up into the, show the wheel wells, Papa. I got up into the wheel wells, you know, a lot of paint drip and whatnot, just absolute disgustingness. Like, I didn't do a good job. Oh, can you see, I, can you see back there? Did I? No, I, I got that spot, yeah. Long story short, I don't know what happened with the audio with the camera. If you look at the two bolts, I already cleaned off the first one that I showed you. Well, whatever was on those, it was like a hard goo that wasn't allowing the bolt to tighten any farther. So once I cleaned it up, I was able to get the bolts in. Just like that. Got all the bolts in. Now we gotta start putting the interior back. To oh, and what's really nice about this is it was so difficult for me to do that with the other bar because it was like hitting in like this region. This just goes right up. So, and it fits over really easily. I made an oopsie. Um, I didn't record any of it, but I got this shelf back in. Um, and then we put this carpet back in, which I gotta, yeah, that's tucked in. So, it fits over the bar just a touch, but that's okay. Now we gotta put this carpet in, which we're gonna have to start slicing for this. Sink it through this way. No, that's even the smaller. Yeah, something tells me that this camera does not like Project Miata. I have had every camera issue known to man during the start of this project. We actually managed to tuck the original panel underneath the bar. We did have to slice it out. We still had to slice that area. We still had to slice this area out. We managed to get that in. And the OEMC belts still work. I just have to make sure to like actually, you know, tuck it back in. Yeah. 
And boom, just like that, you don't even know that I took apart my interior unless you look really closely like right there. My zoom is really slow, I'm so sorry. But you know, spot it. It's the only spot that you can really tell that I took my interior apart. The most important part is stickers. And I'm super OCD about like things being symmetrical, so since I got another sticker, I'm gonna put one right here um, to match that one, and then I'm gonna put one on the front side. So let's start with this. So what's good about this bar is like I'm actually under it instead of being like above it. Because the other one, I couldn't bring my seat anywhere near as far back, which I mean wasn't really an issue to me. Um, that bar was not safe, it was below my head. Um, it was also below the, I don't know what this is called. Absolutely no reason to drive the car now, like it doesn't, like the wheels was a big difference. The you know, fixing engine stuff was a big difference. Obviously the trans, you know, I needed to drive those. Um, the hard dog roll bar should like stiffen up the chassis, like quite a bit, especially compared to that stupid style bar. I shouldn't say stupid, just I'm not a fan of those. I don't like them. I think they're cool because they're like chrome and they like hump, but like they're not, actually they don't do anything, but super excited to have the hard dog roll bar. So, it, I don't need to drive the car, so I'm not gonna like drive the car. But guys, uh, if you like the video, clearly my camera also, by the way, does not like the Miata project because it constantly fails for whatever reason. Only when I make Miata videos. But guys, if you like the video, please make sure to like, comment, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Huge shout out again to my dad for helping me. Guys, I will catch you in the next video.